Damn. When when somebody asks you to sit facing them in in a stall. <laughs> yeah. Number one, having a one on one with somebody sitting on the toilet. No, that's not even the worst. Welcome back to Privy, and hopefully for real. Uh, Privy is a podcast about bathrooms, recorded from this week, my church's bathroom. Uh, and, and I'm joined this week, I, I have my companion flyer, uh, I'm joined this week by uh, Jason Powell. Jason, uh, how are you? I'm good. What's up, everybody? <laughs> Happy to be here. I'm excited. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, if if you could only see the uh, yeah the setup the 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 studio is is quite literally a single stall that I've just propped open uh, and put a comfy ish chair probably not as much as I wanted but I uh, just really plopped one in and so the the configuration is really me sitting on a toilet with no topper uh, with my pants on thank Jesus um well. Well, and this is me. I set this up. This was not Jason, but it is just yeah. sitting facing me. Uh, yeah. It's a good spot. I like the chair. <laughs> I'm glad your pants are on. Mine are also. <laughs> I also have my pants on. So Things that need to be said in a bathroom. Um, so, Jason, uh, you just got off work. I really appreciate you swinging by and uh, probably taking plenty of grief for... Being on a podcast about bathrooms, let alone letting people know that we'd probably be sitting in a bathroom to do it. So, oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> does uh, yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. All right, never mind. Um, so, uh, one of the things that and Jason has a story, I'm gonna get to that in a little bit, but um, Jason, tell us a little bit about like who you are, where you come from. History with bathrooms, like all those things. Just well, I'm I'm your normal normal guy, I guess. I grew up here in Oregon, um, about the only place I've ever been to. Uh, <laughs> so that's pretty exciting. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I I farm a lot, so I have used the bathroom outside a couple of times. Perfect. Um, not this year, but it's been done. So, like, when you say outside, you're saying just, like, in, in the bush? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like you're out in the middle of the field, and you're like, boy, I guess this can't wait another six <laughs> hours. <laughs> yeah, so that, you know, so you're on a tractor in this situation, and you're, you're, like, you're just out in the middle of the field. Yeah, so the safest thing to do is before you leave to do this in the morning or whenever <laughs> is to grab something usually my go-to is the blue shop towel roll um and you just kind of leave a full roll in your cab all summer and you just kind of i mean you can use it for whatever and you just pray that it's not for the exact thing that we're (laughs) just talking about kind of a deal you ever you ever are you ever out in the field and you go to do the blue shop towel roll job and you see somebody else's previous job (laughs) i have ever no i have never i've experienced uh, what I thought was that on the edge of the field, but never like, I mean, and I've seen, I've been there while other people are like, hold the fort, give me the blue shop towels. And they just take a hike, you know, it's like, well, that's those, those blue shop towels are actually like, they're pretty comfy on the backside. I imagine like they seem like they've got, um, pretty good amounts of stretch. Like we yeah. got, we've got church toilet paper right here. And I, Michael has upgraded our beloved janitor. Um, but yeah, blue shop towel is probably not bad back there. Yeah. No, they're, they're good for just about everything you'd want them to be good for and things that you don't want them. I mean, Perfect. it's good to have them. Yeah. It's just yeah. they're all in all. It's part of their sales pitch should say that they can and yeah. should be used as toilet paper instead <laughs> of your socks, shirt, or otherwise. Oh, man. Because you, you know someone has... Oh, yeah, I've seen the shirts that have the cut-off sleeves, and I'm like, that's because of why I think, right? Oh. And they're like, yep, most definitely. And it's like... <laughs> so you and I you and I have a mutual friend, um, and we're just outing people now. The, the Domini crew, 
Um, they regularly roll up with like cut off t shirts with like sleeveless cut off tees. And I'm wondering now if they know that like that's like code for like I might have had to do this. <laughs> I don't know. I've never asked. I've never <laughs> and I refuse to tell them. I just <laughs> All the farmers are like Oh god. You you <laughs> you did it and we know it. And yeah. they're like, No, it's fourth of July, we're ready. Um Wow. Well, that's fun. Um, blue shop towel. I'll never look at blue shop towel the same way ever again. Always look at it as toilet paper. <laughs> Actually, there was a kid this summer that worked for us, and I was like, I handed him one single sheet, and I'm like, you have to use this all summer for everything that you think you're going to use it for. <laughs> he's like rinsing it out and trying to bring it out. Yeah, he's like, oh, man. <laughs> it's like falling apart. Oh, man. Dude. Um yeah, my only, like, I always associate that blue shop towel with, like, oil oil spill cleanup. Mm-hmm. Like, that's, yep. I feel like my uncle used that for. Yeah, probably. Yeah. They're pretty good for oil rigs. And yeah. Stuff like that. And so, uh, actually, one of the questions I had for you, and you kind of already answered it. So, do they make tractors with toilets inside them? Um, I'm not, not that I'm aware oh, of. Okay. And, like, yeah. I mean, if they did, that'd be cool. But I have personally never. Like, yeah. they got ones with fridges in them. They probably have one with a TV in it. I mean, like, they have computers in them, but, like, all yeah. kinds of stuff. And I'm like, what are we doing? The most practical thing we need in this bad boy is... Right. Well, yeah. and they, I mean, the, and they can easily just stick in, like, an emptyable tank. You know, yeah. you, can, you can flush it later. Yeah, um, for sure. So, but, I, <laughs> but I imagine there's something to the experience of, like... Oh, yeah. And it's not like you don't have anywhere to hide. I mean, if you're in right. a tractor, like, you just park that, <laughs> you know. Don't go on the traffic side of things ever or on the house. I mean, come on. <laughs> There's always a back corner. Yeah. Come on. Unless if it's well, real bad. I mean. And uh, if I need to take this out uh, for your employer's sake, I don't want you to get in trouble. But um, have you ever peed off the, like, you're in the tractor. Have you ever peed off the edge just without getting down? Perhaps even while it's moving. <laughs> Not no, I don't no. It's always full stop. Good. It's, well Yeah. It's always <laughs> I mean, it's safe. Better safe than sorry. I have peed off of all kinds of stuff. Yes. Never <laughs> never in the workplace. I'm always safe. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> because uh, that would be the worst time to fall. Yeah. That's also <laughs> the worst time for your boss to roll up on you. It's just Especially if you're moving. He's like, yeah. Hey, what the heck? Hey, that tractor's moving. What's he doing? Uh Wow, yeah, man, that would be that would be a wild sight. Uh, peed yeah. off the side of a tractor—that's a no. <laughs> uh, and so, are there are there like maybe noobs to the job that right. they they walk all the way back in every time? Oh, or is it just too much too much time consumed? Well, I think it depends. Uh, like, yeah, I have experienced guys being like, "Well, I got to run all the way back to the." To the warehouse, like if we're in, like not usually in the tractor, but like if we're out doing something, like I've experienced that at a couple of different places that I've worked, and it's just like, man, you're a dude. Like we're out <laughs> in the trees, like come on, you don't like number two. That's that's yeah. cool, but like if you're just taking a leak, like come on, man. <laughs> Nature is handing yeah, you <laughs> a bathroom. Yeah, you should have been taught this as a kid. Like that's basics. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um. So when when you're out and about. On the on the uh, job, you're using blue shop towel. When you're when you're at your home or just regular indoors, what type of toilet paper are you using? I don't. Uh, I mean, whatever's <laughs> handy, I guess. I don't, sometimes the blue shop towels. <laughs> oh, but we can't. You can't flush it. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't. I guess. I don't know. Never tried. But I uh, imagine that it does not flush right. as good as what's meant to be flushed. <laughs> so don't, don't. If and if you do, don't tell them I told you too. Because <laughs> oh man, so you don't like mom's probably buying. Toilet oh toilet yeah, man. Like, yeah, so, it's like Charmin or something. I don't know. Hey, like, hey Charmin's good. Yeah, those beautiful bears. They take care of you. Um, yeah. It's, wow. It's extra soft. To me, it seems extra. I mean, it's like, oh, wow, this is nice. (laughs) It's better than the um, industrial church grade. (laughs) The sandpaper? Yeah. 
we've upgraded, but it's still it's still a work in progress. You know, we um we used to have just like unbearably rough, and so I would have preferred the blue shop towel. Uh, oh yeah, well blue shop towels are pretty soft. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so when you're when you're going for the toilet paper, blue shop towel or otherwise, uh, do are you a folder or a crumpler? Like. Oh, folder. folder. There's uh, there's no go. reason to crumple. It's, that is crumpling's madness. Like yeah. Th- it seems like I don't find that to be helpful in any way. I don't see how that right. would be helpful. Right. Cuz when I look at a crumpled up wad of paper, I don't think I I could use that to wipe something. Yeah, absolutely yeah. not. It's Perfect. like a pine yeah. cone kind of situation, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I've ever done that. I'm there's too saying. many, there's too many ridges. Uh, yeah, that's not doing a good job either. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. I feel safer um, being in the bathroom right now, knowing that you're you're a folder and not a crumpler. Uh, um. So then, inside the bathroom, other kind of. One of my things that I is going to be a long-standing thing, and I ask, I've asked everyone that I've ever talked to, is are are you a liquid soap or a a bar soap man? Uh, most of the time, liquid soap. Liquid soap, yeah. very good. Um, and you know, what's your what's your brand of choice? Slash, is it just anything that gets you clean? Because <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, kind of like, where I'm at. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the good stuff. Whatever's there and handy is the good stuff. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, <clears throat> good. I'm feeling safer already because the <laughs> thing the thing about bar soap is like if I have somebody over to my house and I'm like, yeah, you know, you need to take a shower, get in there. <laughs> Liquid yeah. soap is safe. Yep. But if they're if they're doing stuff with the bar soap. A bar of soap is touch places. That's yeah, that that's your, your Liquid business. soap only touches one time. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, it's a lot better. It's safer. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> Plus, it's a lot harder to drop your liquid soap. Like, if you drop a bar of soap, it just goes flying to God knows where. And right. you're just sitting there helpless. Yes. Yes. And it's loud. Yeah. Um, everybody knows. Yeah. And, well, and I'm, I'm taking showers kind of like trying to be incognito, usually before 5 a.m. And it's like, if I knock something off the shelf... I'm rolling the dice if I'm putting kids back to sleep. Like it's like, oh no, <laughs> have I ruined everything uh, with yeah. my clumsiness? So, yeah, liquid soap. It's the way to go. Yep, yep. Um, and how are you on baths? Just I don't know, take. man. It's uh, <laughs> like I mean, I I understand that they're relaxing and everything, and like I mean, a good soak never hurts. But I would personally shower. Okay. And then, then, then bathe because I don't want to just like yes. be a stew. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And and I think that's to me that's the only acceptable bath response. Um, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, you're exactly right. Otherwise, you're stewing in it. Yeah, because uh, I'm nasty about ninety percent. <laughs> so. <laughs> and and the other ten percent, you're like. In the process of getting nasty. Yeah, that's yeah. the right before the right before the shower yeah. or like the right after the shower before I get nasty again. Yeah, exactly. I feel like you've described just about every guy uh, in some way or another. Yeah, but but farming is hard work, hard work, you know, build up for sure. Inside the bathroom, do you have any bathroom pet peeves? Like things that people do that are just when you walk in and you find it, you're like... Come on. Oh, yeah. Like, man. <laughs> when, when somebody asks you to sit facing them in, in a stall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number one, having a one-on-one while somebody's <laughs> sitting on the toilet. No, that's not even the worst. Uh, oh, man, the worst is like just somebody gets water all over the sink or like somebody, you know, there's just water like they were in the shower or something and they get water like on the floor clean it up yes you have a towel you have you know there's towel there's extra towels even in, in our bathroom at least and i'm sure everyone has at least one spare just in case yeah so if if you're making a mess you know who you are like i don't know man there's always it's always like man 
we water everywhere. I risk my life. Yeah. Just walking in the bathroom and like if you're getting hair everywhere, clean it up, please. <laughs> Cuz it's not me. Yeah. It's yeah. not me. So you so then without saying it, you have you share a a bathroom space with female people. Yeah, then. Two. yes. Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah, and so. as yeah. The hair just is everywhere and I'm with you. You you, you know if it came off your body, you got to deal with it. That's just yeah. I w- uh, I always clean mine up. It, yeah, I know. I lose a lot. Yeah, but. dude, my, <laughs> mine is the beard trimming. Like, yep. and I realize it's just all over. And I'm like, okay, the wet rag, like soak the rag, and it's like, okay, it, here we are. We've we've tidied it. But with the water on the sink, I was gonna say my my roommate in college, he would just soak it. And um, I don't I don't think he listens. Maybe he does. If he does, hey, what's up? You know who you are. Um, but he would just make a lake and I'm like, guy, why I, I'm dressed and ready for school. Huh? And now I'm wet because I leaned up against the thing to brush my teeth and it's just the whole front soaked. Yeah. And, and another thing that doesn't happen anymore, like it happened whenever we were kids a lot, but people do leave pieces of toothpaste. Like, you know, like it co- like falls off their brush or something like <laughs> And it's just a, like, I'm like, ow, why? Why didn't, like, it's in the sink already. You just wash it. Like, come oh, on. Yeah. I haven't seen that happen in a long time in our you house, know, but it's like, come on. Now I, I got to deal with this too. I think I, I think I have committed that sin. Uh, oh. And, <laughs> and I know I have because my wife regularly is just like, hey, it's get the green stuff. It Like, just, and I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, there's just nothing there's like shame. either coming in to water like woofy on your sink or you get in and there's hair and you just say, boy, this is auspicious. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, those are great. Yeah. <laughs> water everywhere is such a fair thing to say, though, because you're you're even you even noted this like it's also just kind of like a safety hazard (laughs) yeah if it's on the floor like people might slip on that right like i've almost slipped getting into well no i have slipped getting into the shower (laughs) once like i don't know it wasn't i don't know man it was just like one time i'm getting in and i just like feel my foot start to go and i'm just Uh. saying well god i guess (laughs) today's the day huh (laughs) (laughs) Thought I was gonna make it to the weekend, but I guess a Monday will have to do. Oh, oh my gosh! Um, <laughs> well, uh, well, speaking of showers, I'm gonna jump down. <laughs> I have a, I have a few questions uh, regarding showers, and and if I'm I'm happy to give definitions on these because sometimes definitions are needed. But um, have you ever taken a dark shower? Is that no. with no lights on? No lights on. Yes, <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, so, uh, if you have a way of doing it safely the the dark shower is a game changer like i i don't know we started doing it in college and it's just like no lights on it's it's relaxing i think it's the closest thing i'll ever get to being in one of those like sensory deprivation things (laughs) um but yeah uh so so that's a no um have you ever have you ever taken in the orange shower trick where you eat the orange like an apple inside the shower while you're showering no i don't think i've eaten anything in the shower at least not recently perfect yeah (laughs) um i definitely have eaten a popsicle in the shower recently oh okay well i've had plenty of drinks in the shower yes lots of lots and lots of different sodas and sometimes just water if you're dehydrated but a good (laughs) A good fruit flavored beverage in the shower is just like, boy, this is nice. Let me take a drink of this grape soda. <laughs> you know, it's just in the I, shower. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if it's cold, because then your inside is cold, but your outside oh. is warm. Yeah. Hey, I might be uh <laughs> I might be sampling that one soon. Yeah. You just feel like Yeah, you feel it all the way down. Yeah, oh it's, it's like the equivalent kind of of chewing like mint gum and then taking a drink yeah. of water like you can just kind of feel it like i don't know i can't explain it but it's somehow the somehow the mint has gotten places where you didn't think it could uh yeah it's weird <laughs> but we all know what i'm talking about we've all experienced something like that it's yeah. kind of similar 
Um, so this next one can be hypothetical if you want. You don't have to admit anything if you don't want to. But um, have you ever, and if not that, would you ever waffle stomp? Uh, and what this is, is it is the technical term for when you can't, you got to poop in the shower. And so you just do it and then you just kind of stomp it to get it to go down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that I have not done that. <laughs> um, because I would just get out and go. Perfect. I mean, in our house, it's not too far away. So even if it was like, boy, I have to go right now. Yeah. I would just, I would even leave the shower running if I needed to. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I'm never. It's not good. worth it. Yeah, that is never a good idea. I don't <laughs> care. Um, and then I guess the follow up is and this is another option. You've already said you're just going to get out, but there's a demographic of people that actually like have, and it's a thing. You catch it, like you poop oh, and God. catch it, and then you just kind of like in the in the toilet from within the shower. And I don't know what people's apprehension is just to get out of the shower, like you've said. But yeah. more than one way exists to get people uh, going to the bathroom without getting out of the shower. So that uh, it's just <laughs> <laughs> no. If if you can't get out, you need to put a bucket or something in your shower. <laughs> Like, come on. The shower, yeah. the shower porta potty. Yeah. Hey, hey, now, now oh, we're talking. We're closer, not... we're closer to that than toilets and tractors, in my, <laughs> opinion, in my scientific opinion. Right. Yeah. So. Well, and there's a bigger market, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, you just, you just make it t- the the bathtub or whatever twice as wide, and then you just build <laughs> the seat off the side of the inside of the shower. I feel it, like that's essentially what they got going on. But, like, but, but the problem is, <laughs> if you make a loud noise, everyone in the house hears because it just oh. it goes yeah, just right <laughs> off. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, uh, and if you don't believe me, open your curtains or your shower next time you're in the bathroom and just say something in there because yeah. it's bad. <laughs> it's an echo chamber. Yeah. Um, man. Well, in... I feel like that's the setup they have on like in like camper trailers and some of the smaller ones. Like they put the toilet inside the shower area. I might be wrong on that. Maybe I've, tiny house people. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen one like in like in the shower. It's, it's like kind of really close. Like I, it's got to be tiny house people. I'll take any chance I get to just kind of narc on some <laughs> tiny house people. Uh, what a world. Um, so uh, one of the last questions that I have, and then I, I can't wait to hear this story, um, is is what like eating establishment does you the dirtiest? Like just fouls you up. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know. Probably like Domino's or dude. Domino's is bad. Like really? well, sometimes. Yeah. Like I would say it fluctuates like <laughs> the other day and that's where my story comes in handy <laughs> yes. that I have to say is that was food from somewhere else. I <sighs> think I think that's what happened. Yeah. But it was no good. Whoa. But yeah, like the like Taco Bell's not too bad. Yeah. Once in a while it can hit pretty hard. But it's kinda like the equivalent of like coffee where it's not like I'm like, man, I got to go right now. But it's like right. whenever I do go, it's like, well, this is different than usual. <laughs> There's been a noticeable change. Yeah. Not like the kind of where, you know, you got to pull over. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's it. I think like for me, you know, Domino's, I'm still hung up on that. I don't know, man. Some pizzas are just like, oh, man, it's. Maybe the cheese. I don't know. Yeah, or like the just the amount of grease. Yeah, probably fair. Yeah, yeah. I because like there's um like James Gang man. Oh, that James. it's in Lebanon. Okay, so this is like a local pizza. Oh, yeah, yeah. James Gang. Th- they have really good pizza, but like the next morning, <laughs> and like Gang somehow man. I always forget. 
And I'm just like, man, I, you know, it's like, man, I could eat a whole family sized pizza from this place. And, and I then will. I wake up in a cold sweat. <laughs> what have I done? James Place, no. James Gang, James Place. Yeah, James Gang. Yeah. James Gang. I'm going to have to. Yeah. I've never had it. Um, yeah, there's, it's a good place. Local local pizza places are always going to be a, a stronger. A stronger yeah, it's, go-to. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Man. Um, so, I am, now that I know it has something to do with food problems, uh, I, yeah, I, I'm, I am excited I'm pretty, to hear this. I'm pretty sure. Perfect. So, <laughs> on Friday night, I ate um, a pretty good sized burrito <laughs> on my way home, which is not totally abnormal. I eat a lot of <laughs> food. And I eat a lot of big burritos. I mean, I'm a big guy. So, anyway, so Saturday, I got up and I went to breakfast with somebody from my church. And whenever I got home, you know, it was the usual, like, oh, I kind of don't, you know, whatever. Got to get some of this out of my system. No big deal. And then uh, I decided to hang out with my girlfriend. So she came over. And a little while later, I was like, okay, like, no, I got to go to the bathroom again. And so, like, yeah, I went and did the deed and <laughs> it was really embarrassed to come back in. You know, I'm like, boy, this doesn't happen very often. Usually I take care of business. <laughs> then we hang out. Then whenever we get done, I can go back <laughs> to being a barbarian. And But that, that's not even the worst part, man. I, I told my brother I'd come hang out at his house. And so we loaded up our stuff. I took my quad up there to ride it and stuff. And yeah. Man, we're like most of the way up there, and it just hits me again, and I'm like, oh, oh man. I'm like, oh. Like, and I'm like, oh, well, it's, it's red. Yeah. And I'm like, just starting to sweat, like, turning off the heater because it's way too hot, dude. And I'm like, are you hot? I'm hot. I'm just like, turning it off. That's coming from internal. Yeah. And like, we get there, and he's kind of got a long driveway, and they're like back at the barn, and I'm like, oh, crap. You know, yeah. like, so I drive down there, and I'm like, hey, is your house open? And he's like, yeah, kind of weirdly, you know, because they're like, everybody's down here. Yeah. And I'm like, where's your bathroom? Because they just moved in. So, like, I haven't oh, had a yeah, tour. Yeah, yeah. Right. I haven't had a tour. And I'm like, See, where's your bathroom? And he's like, well, as soon as you walk in the door, it's kind of on the right. And I'm like, good enough for me. Like, at least I know on which end of the <laughs> house it's on. So I kind of, like, I didn't run or anything, yeah. but I was like, man, and I just, <sighs> oh, it was close. Like, I was just like, <sighs> he's like, I'm pretty sure there's toilet paper. I'm like, don't worry. I don't ever start without knowing. Oh. I don't ever start <laughs> without knowing for sure that there's oh, going to be something there. Well, I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> I mean, you made it, but man, pretty sure is a scary statement. Yeah. When I was you're on your way. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, man. And then I get back, and he's like, you doing all right? And I'm like, oh, I'm good now. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, just out of nowhere, too. It was like I round a corner or something, and it's just like, hey, guess what, buddy? Oh. And I'm like, well, it's only five minutes from here. I hope that's not. <laughs> like, oh, man. Oh, Dude. Man, it's taking corners and hills faster than I've ever taken them. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get to established places. To to I'm like, I'm, yeah, and you can't, you can't tell your passenger, no matter who it is. I don't, right. care, I don't care who it is. You don't just tell them, like, so I'm about to yeah. die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hang on to the steering wheel because I'm just going to oh, open the door. Man. But I didn't have any blue shop towels in my pickup. So <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. If, if the only, deal breaker. Yeah. If only the blue shop towel had... Uh, <laughs> So, Man. yeah, it was a successful drop, and then I made it back to have plenty of fun. So good. <laughs> for the rest of the afternoon. It, it, <laughs> you don't realize how, how, like, what a game changer that relief afterwards, because, like, you, you can go do anything after that. It's just yeah. like, I'm I, good. I was set, yeah, ready yeah. to rock and roll. Yep. yep. I never let it get in the way, unless if it's real bad, <laughs> then you can't really do anything, yeah, but. right. And it's uh, like you try not to think about it, but all you can feel is just your body right. saying, no, yeah, that's, we're done. Shut it down. That's no good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm glad you made it. <laughs> yeah. If I had uh, been going literally anywhere else, <laughs> I don't know. Cause, I uh, mean, my brothers are cool. You know, they've, had, yeah. they've been there, too. Yeah. So it's like right. whatever. But right. I don't know. I wouldn't do that on the way to a friend's house. Oh. I would have just been like, sorry, I got to stop by the store or something. Like, I'd, I don't know. I'm going to grab a snack. Yeah. 
I'd rather hit a park bathroom like that than yeah. a friend's house for sure. Oh man, I <laughs> yeah. Well, I that was great. Um, I love that. I I there's a there's a rest stop on I five that I would always hit because it's like I'm on my way back from mentoring and it's like clockwork. My body says, "Hey, it's time the rest to go. stop's coming," and you're moving about 45 mile an hour because everybody's trying to go home and it's just like. God knew that I needed this rest stop built here because, yeah, I've used it so many times. But, wow. Well, <laughs> thank you for sharing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. I was like, man, I'm not going to have anything really. And then it's just like oh. Saturday happens and I'm just like, <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> something is really wrong. Oh, man. <laughs> where was uh, where was the burrito from? Uh <laughs> home no oh. no it was oh, from I, the pause i was like oh <laughs> or is it like incriminating here <laughs> no 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 it was from it was from rigoberto's and usually okay. i don't have any problems there like yeah. but i tried something new big riggies because because i'm you know I'm, I, once in a while i try yeah. something new and i don't know well in it was a buster i guess like, and i've I, and I've heard nothing but good things from rigoberto's oh yeah anyway. man I, yeah their food I, oh man it's just like yeah, it's this is not an advertisement, but their food is good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're, but hey, Riggies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, and there's like I don't know their cousins own the place in Lebanon. Yeah, that's Tony's. Oh, cool. The, yeah, so I get food from both places. So that's awesome. Usually, yeah. usually it's all good, like just the normal whatever. But for whatever yeah. reason, Saturday was different, and the, it's the perfect storm. Yeah, I was like, oh man. Yeah, I don't. I definitely don't think it counts as like the thing that messes you up the most unless it does it more than two or three times. Like yeah. once you once you're on books with it, it's like, hey, I don't know if you and I can do this. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, like yeah. Willing we, to scratch it off the will go to list. Yeah. Yeah. It's like I don't yeah, know, man. Dude and yeah. oh, I still love everywhere that'll do it to me though, man. It's just like oh I just <laughs> It's totally worth it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I still man, it's just like I don't even care. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Um, well, uh, I'm a scrub at ending podcast things, so these are all the parts that usually get dubbed out, and you get to see behind my shameful curtain of figuring out how to stop things. Um, is there anything you want to leave folks with as you go? <laughs> this was a ton of fun. Like I've been listening to, <laughs> I've been listening to this thing in, for all the episodes, so. As soon as I was, you were like, man, we should record one. I'm like, yes, oh. at last. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. And everybody I told was just as excited <laughs> as me, if not more. I mean, at first, you know, I'm like, it's about bathrooms. And like, well, that's kind of weird. And I'm like, wait, just hear me out, okay? <laughs> like, it's not it's yeah. not as weird as you might think. Like, it's yeah. pretty normal. Man, it, that's a conversation I've had so many times. Once today with my pastor, as I'm like... Pastor Ben's he's great, but it's it's always funny when I uh, can I use the church bathroom to record because I need a bigger space. Uh, yeah, I even told him I said I could have had him over to my house into my home bathroom, but I felt like it would have been weirder. And and he and I are he's like, is it weirder than using the church? I'm like, I don't know. We're not gonna ask these questions now. But um, well, I appreciate you being here. Uh, yeah. If you want, I don't know if you're still playing a lot of video games, medium amount of video games, but yeah, once in a while, a yeah. couple, couple times a week, probably somewhere yeah. in there. Well, go go check his stuff out. It's fun stuff to watch. Uh, yeah, he's too he's too good for me. I I'm a scrub. Um, I don't know. I've just been playing Farm Sim a lot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I have a buddy. He buys the new Farm Simulator every year. Every year. Yeah, it's like the same kind of person that buys the NFL games yep. or like yep. the soccer. Madden. It's like, come on. It's the yeah. same game. Yeah, he buys every- it every year. I'm like, what's different? Because it's got different tractors. Well, I like, I, yeah, I was going to say, I will admit that we do have the newest copy in our house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a competition, you know. It's yeah. like my brother will be playing. I'm like, well, get off so I can get something better than you. know. It's like, <laughs> it's like you know, you just spend all your yeah. money to buy a better tractor than them just so you can, you know. But That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Well. Ah, uh, thank you for being here. Yeah, uh, man. it was fun. As as always, I'm gonna do the shameful behind the curtain. Uh, 
Leave us a rating or review or do whatever. I'm not going to do too much of that right now. Send us an email, privycast at gmail.com. Uh, I don't know all the other things are, but I do know this. I have to thank Kevin McLeod for the use of Barroom Ballet as our intro and outro music. You can find Kevin music at incompetech.com. His music is licensed under Creative Commons License Attribution 4.0. Thanks, Kevin. This has been another episode of Privy. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for being here. Oh, yeah. And now, as always, don't forget to flush. <laughs> <laughs>